In our next section, we will talk about controller-based networks. Guys, let's say that you are managing a huge network, which consists of uh, 1000 routers, 1000 switches, and 1000 uh, wireless access points. Okay. Then, for example, let's say you need to make a change in this network. For example, you want to make a configuration change for a device and you should implement this one for 1000 device. So, instead of configuring each device, each 1000 device separately, you have another option and we are naming these guys as controllers. Controllers are used to manage uh, more than one device from a central, central point and you just uh, implement some solutions on the controller itself and controller is just communicating the uh, devices and make uh, related changes to the devices. Okay, uh, controllers are used in wired networks and also we have the wireless controllers that you can uh, configure the wireless access points. Okay, Cisco have a new solution uh, for this one and this name is Cisco DNA Center. Cisco DNA Center is a way to manage our network using a graphical and a programming interface for enterprise networks. Cisco DNA Center is an appliance we can install our network or there is an option for having DNA in cloud also. You can add and configure network devices and monitor and troubleshoot your network by using Cisco's, Cisco DNA. And DNA Center is mainly focuses on five areas you can see on the screen and they are design, policy, provision, assurance and the platform. When we start with the design, we can take a map of world and we can add an area and we can say within that area we have got this building or there is another area within an area. We can put a floor on the building, we can import a floor plan and we can drag and drop devices onto that floor plan. We can say what our uh, IP address allocation is and uh, this is a way for us to design our network to this graphical interface. In addition to that, Cisco DNA can apply policy. We can assign policies into our group, maybe allowing and denying them accessing to something and we could do IP-based access control or we can apply QoS to our devices also. We can also do a provisioning in Cisco DNA Center. We can essentially do a plug and play for our devices and we can have a new network device set to whatever location what is going to be configured and when the device boots up it's going to go out and get some IP address information from DHCP, including some DNS server information, and it is going to resolve IP address of DNA center server, and it is going to go up uh, that server, and based on its serial number, it's going to be able to download the configuration file. We just prepare profile for that device and do nothing more. Device gets the configuration automatically from DNA Center. Cisco DNA Center also provides assurance and uh, helps us to monitor the health of our network. This is gonna be uh, helping us with troubleshooting surely and if there are existing faults we can see what those are and uh, based on experiences of Cisco TAC Cisco DNA Center will give us a feedback about what we should do uh, to resolve this issue. This is awesome, huh? and uh, let's say there's a reachability problem between uh, your two locations, and let's say there's an access list causing this issue. And Cisco DNA Center in this case uh, will give us a graphical representation and show us exactly 
where that ACL lives that is blocking our traffic. And last important feature of Cisco DNA Center is uh, it is a bill ability to act as a programming platform. We have a large collection of APIs, application programming interfaces that will allow us to do via program what we could do graphically. If you want to provision or set a policy or gather troubleshooting information, we can do that with a Python script, for example, using some of these APIs. So Cisco is providing us a demo platform also for Cisco DNA. If you want to experience Cisco DNA Center yourself, you can just browse the sandbox dnac.cisco.com. Okay, let's go there and uh, check what's going on uh, for Cisco DNA. There we go. Username is devnet user and we enter the related password. Okay, once we browse the Cisco DNA uh, demo page, you can see the options, uh, design, policy, provision, and assurance we have already talked about and uh, how they are used and what is the purpose of using that one. Okay, let's uh, have a look what is included in the assurance page. You can uh, check the network health in here basically and you can have some gra graphical interfaces which is showing network devices and uh, wired clients and wireless clients and you can also check if there is any global issue in here for example let them the load and you can manage some scheduled captures and sensor driving tests also you have dashboards for your sensors. When we check the provision, you can check your, you can see your uh, each device and the, what is the device family, what is IP address, serial number, uptime, and uh, when you check the policy also. You can create group-based access control policies, IP-based application, traffic copy, and virtual uh, network policies. And when it comes to the design, you can do your own designing. And uh, yeah, Cisco DNA is really cool and uh, really big topic actually. But uh, for Cisco CCNA exam, you will just be responsible from the things that we have already talked about. So I don't want to go deeper for uh, this one. Okay, let's go ahead. As I explained to you, we have also wireless controllers. And a wireless controller, uh, WLAN, is a wireless architecture that aims to meet changing network demands. A wireless controller manages wireless network access points that allow wireless devices to be to connect to the network basically what a wireless access point does for your network is similar to what an amplifier does for your home stereo for example guys it takes the bandwidth coming from a router and stretches it so uh, that many devices can go on the network from farther distances away a wireless controller is used in combination with the lightweight access point control LWAPP to manage lightweight access points in large quantities by the network administrator or network operations center. The wireless controller automatically handles the configuration of wireless access points. So you don't need to go each access point and you don't need to configure separately uh, all of them. 